Alright guys, welcome to your 24th Ruby tutorial and in addition to just using regular expressions in simple statements, you can also scan a string and actually extract whatever you pulled out and use it in some way. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be teaching you guys about the scan method and what this does is it looks for a regular expression, extracts it, and all I'm going to be doing is printing it out on the screen. So say that I don't know you wanted to it's basically like looping through a string and we wanted to print out three characters at a time well let's go ahead and do this right now the first thing we need is a string and I'm just gonna set mine equal to variable a equals not equals minus that would be messed up Wow um, Bucky is the greatest beautiful now that we have that variable a we can go ahead and call the scan method on it now the scan method is a parameter it takes a regular expression so remember the first thing I said that all regular expressions start and end with forward slashes so let's get those out of the way right now now in my regular expression the only thing well we know a couple symbols but we know the period means any single character so let's go ahead and write three periods which means it's basically going to scan through the string while Bucky is the greatest and it's going to rip it apart three characters at a time now what we can do is we can actually store those pieces in variable this might look a little bit familiar to you store it in the variable B and now that we have that let's just go ahead and print or put B on the screen so you remember whenever we used loops we could store whatever we extracted in a variable and then print it out on the screen let's go ahead and do that right now and see what we get wow Bucky is the greatest kind of it's a little bit choppy but basically that's what we're doing right now our regular expression said okay this means any three characters and clearly a character also includes spaces as well so even though you can't see it, even though it's not a number or a letter a space in computer programming is actually a character so what if you wanted to um you know do the same thing or something similar to this but you didn't want to include these spaces now spaces are also called white spaces so if I say white spaces and spaces I pretty much mean the same thing well instead of these periods dot 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 what we would want to use is another symbol in regular expressions which is um, backslash s backslash s backslash s so what this is going to do is basically this now remember a backslash s is basically a non white space character any number any letter is going to match backslash s now let me go ahead I keep saying backslash s but you know what I mean so basically let's go ahead and run this and see what we get wow Bucky the great and it kind of messes up it doesn't say wow Bucky is the greatest without any spaces and this is why take a look at our original string wow Bucky is the greatest now what we said is basically loop through this or scan through this and rip it apart whenever you find three non white space characters well the reason that it doesn't print out things like is is whenever it comes to is it says okay this is only two non white space characters we have one two but we didn't match our third parameter basically so that's why it doesn't print out things like this so again basically for this tutorial I want to tell you that just remember this just take this away and you'll be good a period whenever you're working in regular expressions is any character it can be a space it can be a letter it can be a number it's any character a backslash s is only a non white space character so it can be letters and numbers but it can't be spaces now you can use these in combination between forward slashes to make patterns now in the upcoming tutorial I'm gonna be showing you guys I'm gonna be showing you guys different ways where you can use these patterns and also in different things other than loops like decision making and stuff like that but for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video